let's understand important points regarding sedimentation and decantation sedimentation and decantation methods are used for the separation of insoluble solid substances which are heavier than liquid the insoluble solid substances settles down and a clear liquid is left this clear liquid is called superintendent liquid and the solid substances that settles down is called sediment this entire process is called sedimentation decantation follows sedimentation the decantation decantation process involves pouring clear upper liquid out of the container without disturbing the sediment the motion of fluid is due to the force acting on them these forces can be gravity centrifugal acceleration or electromagnetism sedimentation involves two phases one phase is called is solid and another is liquid phase decantation also involves two phases it may be solid liquid phase and another may be liquid liquid phase these methods are used to separate oil and water milk and cream sand and water kerosene and water blood and plasma glycerin from biodiesel husk and dirt from rice to purify impure water etc sedimentation and decantation cannot be used to separate a soluble mixture such as salt and water sawdust from water because sawdust is not heavier than water salt can be separated from water with the help of evaporation method evaporation is the process by which a liquid absorbs heat and gets converted to vapor hence solid substance such as salt left behind filtration is another process of separating solid from liquid using filter paper cloth piece bamboo basket tea strainer etc for example stone or sand grains from water etc sedimentation decantation filtration evaporation magnetic separation etc are widely used for separation purpose in our daily life thank you for watching please subscribe like and do comment thank you very much